Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. This morning we got kind of an interesting problem. Well, it's not really interesting. Um, I was just happened to be looking at these switches and I uh, was checking to see how many switches are in the stack. And I usually do that with the show stack command and it, it'll tell me all the different switches and what their roles are and all that in the stack. So I came across this one guy, and I looked at it, it said, switch topology is a star, mm, should be a ring. So what's it mean by ring and star? So if it's a star, it means basically a daisy chain. I guess it says it's a daisy chain. I'm thinking of old technology. So it'll say daisy chain. Let's see what it says. Well, I'll show you what it says in a minute. But basically, it should be connected as a ring. And what that means is, these are the stacking cables for these particular kinds of switches. There's a couple of different ways you can stack these switches. And these ports and these cables are, are one of those methods. So, what we do is we go from the switch two port down to switch one. And switch two down to switch one. And switch two up to the original switch one. That completes the ring. That way, if any one of these three switches fails, um, the other two switches will survive and take over. One of them will become the master, and it'll keep doing what it's supposed to do until you can replace the dead unit. Um, and so we don't want a daisy chain because if we didn't have that one un uh, cable going from bottom to top of the stack to create the ring, then let's say you just went from switch to switch to switch. Well, if this switch fails, um, from the master's point of view, both of the other switches have failed. So even though this is the only switch that's really failed, this one will be offline too. No bueno. Or even a worst case, since, um, let me step through the rack here. Since the way I connect these is I have uh, a lag here and a lag down there. If I lose this switch in the middle and this is set up as a daisy chain, meaning this, what is it, this switch can't communicate with this switch. They both have fiber uplinks. Both of them will think they're the master They'll both take over the IP address, and uh, well, last time that happened, it created a loop in our network, like a spanning tree storm, and it was havoc. So, we don't want that, we want a ring. So, long story short, short story long, too late, what I'm going to have to do is see what's wrong with the link between this switch and this switch. How do I know it's those two switches? Let me get over here and hit the up arrow a few times. I got this command, show stacking stack ports, or as I type it out, just show stacking stack. Um, if you go here, and you'll look and you'll see that um, there's three switches in the stack. Um, there's one. Switch one is showing operational. Switch two is showing that it doesn't have a neighbor. But at least the topology is, is still a ring. So what I'm going to do is replace that suspect cable with a brand new cable, which I have in here. And that's, I blogged the case with Extreme and said, hey, you know, what's, what's the proper way to troubleshoot this? And they said, put a new cable on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a new cable on it. Let me uh, set you guys down here. You don't want to miss a second of me opening a package of a cable. Get this thing open. This is it, stacking cable. No big deal. Ooh, it does have a serial number. Excellent. It has a serial number. That means I can call Extreme Support and get it replaced. So, what I'm going to do, since this won't take too long, I'll let you guys. Oops. Get my camera set up here. Let you guys uh, watch me do that. All right, so 
a half an hour, it's this cable here. Luckily, these cables are hot swappable, so let's hot swap it. Now, the cards that they plug into are removable, but they are not hot swappable. You have to power this system down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this one cable and show you the change it makes over here on this uh, command that I just typed. Yeah, so it's a daisy chain. So what you see now, sorry about the lighting, is topology is a daisy chain. That's bad. We wouldn't want to have a failure right now. And uh, link down, link down. So what I'm going to do is replace this cable and uh, we will see what happens. All right. Over here, can you see me? Don't want you to miss a minute. Let's go ahead. Bent, bent the way I don't want it to get bent. This one in here. Put that guy back down. little thumbs bruise basically to put it in. No tools are required. Although the thumb screws are slotted just in case it gets wedged for another day. So suspect cable. But right there where I can keep an eye on it. Alright, let's put this new cable in. Now, remember the, <clears throat> excuse me. Remember, this is just the first step in troubleshooting. So, let's see if it's had any effect. Do the old F arrow or Rooney? Hmm. I don't think it was the neighbor. So, that means it's either this card or this card. I'm not sure which one it is. So, anyway, the troubleshooting on this will continue. I'll just uh, give you an update on that when we do figure out what it is. Give it a little more time, see if there's any change. No. I think that that card went bad. One of the cards went bad. I'm gonna let Extreme tell me which one if he can. So I'm gonna let him know that I did replace the cable. You can see this, the switch sees it. This sees the cable, it says the topology is a ring. Right there. Topology is a ring. And uh, sees the MAC addresses of the switch, but it just doesn't see it as a neighbor. Um, hopefully, there's a, a command that we can do to just add it back in or force it to rejoin. Maybe that's all it is, but I have a feeling I'm going to be replacing a card. They're not hot swappable, so that means that por th that portion of the switch will have to. Well, that whole stack will have to go down. Luckily, in this wing, and this is an acute care wing, so I hate to do it, but it has to be done. Um, luckily, there's only three switches in this stack, and there's like one, two, three, four, four switches in the stack up there. So luckily, only a portion of the wing will be affected. But unfortunately, well, actually, I do. I'd have to, I'll have to go in and map most of the, most of the time we can't tell them if i bring a switch down i don't know what goes where however we had a vendor install this wiring and he did a really good job so i mean all of this stuff is numbered all the patch patch panels are numbered and uh <laughs> he gave us a map and a lot of you guys are probably going well duh of course there's a map no this is the only map that we have for our whole hospital because this is a 120 year old hospital. I mean, the network has just kind of developed over the years and engineering put in a lot of our network and they, they didn't make maps. So, all right, well, 
now we know we're going to have to just continue troubleshooting this. So I'll bring you along for that. Um, as Extreme helps me this, I'll come back and I'll show you what the ultimate solution was. So, ooh, a cliffhanger. That's awesome. All right, well, that's all I got for this week, guys. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, most important of all, keep praying for one another. Pray for each other. Um, some of you said you're praying for me. That's great. I really appreciate that. Um, keep praying for Sam Jones. Keep praying, praying for, is it like Sir Speedy? Something about Speedy. Dude, I am so sorry. His wife's undergoing surgery next month. He's also a viewer of the channel. And uh, pray for his wife. Um, I said keep praying for each other. Um, pray for your, your church, your nation, whatever nation you're in. Pray for your nation. Because I want every nation to be successful, not just mine. So... Luckily, when we all meet in the next life, it's going to be nothing but success. Constant winning. <laughs> We've already won. All right, enough rambling. We'll see you guys all next week. God bless.